guys long time no talk i have little avery here both the boys are at school i just got back from dropping porter off at preschool i am vlogging because we are waiting for my niece ivy to come over i am starting a new job today uh, it will be like technically my third job <laughs> and i'm gonna start watching my niece ivy um, every day while my sister goes back to work. So my sister's maternity leave ended. Yesterday was the last day, so today is her first day back at work. She was trying to find someone to watch Ivy, and I said, well, I stay at home with the kids. If you want to bring her over here, I'll watch her. So she was like, okay. Um, I think she feels good because she, obviously she trusts me, and I obviously have experience. And so, yeah, I'm going to be watching her. Well, look who's here. It's little Ivy. She's a little sad this morning, but we're walking around and that seems to make her happy. So sorry if you get a little dizzy. I just put Avery down for a nap. I had to put Ivy down for like two minutes while I ran Avery upstairs and she was not happy. I put her on the kick play piano, but she was not having it. So now I'm holding her. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm going to be watching Ivy. Um, just Monday through Friday, Allison's a teacher, so she just works teacher school hours. Um, so it'll be my first experience with four kids at once. So we'll see how that goes. I do eventually want four kids, so maybe this is like a really good um, practice and uh, experience. So it's not too bad right now because both boys are in school and Avery is going down for a nap. But when I have all four kids at the same time, it's, it's going to be interesting. But I'm glad I can help out my sister. And we're going to have lots of fun, huh? We're going to be best friends. Yeah. My um, kids, both my boys, call Allison their best friend because she ha hangs out with them all the time and does fun things with them. So I'm hoping that through this experience I can make Ivy, my best friend. <laughs> she needs to she needs to want to hang out with me. So we're gonna have lots of bonding time because it'll be every day <laughs> other than Saturday and Sunday until the end of May. And then my sister will be off for summer and then she's not quite sure if she's gonna resume teaching next year or kind of do something different. So this might be temporary or it might be a permanent thing. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I survive. <laughs> Hopefully you survive, little Ivy, huh? Best friends. Best friends. We're best friends. Um, but I feel like I haven't vlogged in a long time. Um, there's just really not the, been much going on. It's the middle of January here. It snowed pretty good last night and is still kind of snowing this morning, but not enough to cancel or delay school here. Other parts of the country are getting dumped with snow. But other than that, like, there's really not been much going on. Like, we don't have anything on the weekends. We can't really go outside because it's freezing cold and snowy. And, <clears throat> yeah, so every day it's just, like, Anthony and I trying to wear out the kids as much as we can inside. It doesn't really work because there's just so much you can do inside. So we've just been playing with toys a lot. We've been playing board games, card games. Ivy likes listening to me talk, don't you? So a lot of that, um, Anthony's been playing like video games and the boys will watch him. So that's really all we've been doing. Um, it really hasn't been that much. So that's why I really haven't pulled the camera out. But I thought I'd pull it out today to document my first day being a in-home care provider, I guess. Um, I also work as like a part-time like social media manager. And then of course, I'm also a full-time mom stay at home mom so <laughs> just keep adding more to my plate i can take it no problem so anyway i will pull the camera out as the day goes on of things that we do which might just be a lot of walking around because that seems to make her happy huh see i like walking around i'm not quite sure when she's gonna be tired <laughs> avery like she is starting to get into a routine now and so she does 9 30 first nap and then her second nap will be at one but ivy allison said she goes down like her wake windows are only an hour but she fell asleep in the car on the way here for 20 minutes so i think that resets it so i'm just trying to watch her cues 
And then hopefully I can get her down to sleep. I guess Austin said she's kind of hard to get to sleep. So we will. It will be an adventure. Okay, update. It's been a couple minutes. I got Avery down for a nap. I think I said that in the last clip. And then I got Ivy down for a nap. So I'm doing pretty good. Everybody's napping right now. I'm actually sitting and enjoying a cup of coffee. Not sure how long that's going to last. Well, it's not going to last long because Avery usually gets up not too much longer maybe 11 so maybe i have like a half hour but hey that actually wasn't too bad getting iv down she was really tired so yay i'll show you guys success maybe you sleep in too but it's hard to see her <laughs> avery is sometimes a back sleeper like last night she was passed out on her back laying sideways in the crib but this morning she's sleeping on her belly and Ivy is sleeping. So I'm enjoying my cup of coffee. My great aunt got me this coffee mug. Super mom, super wife, super tired. <laughs> Very accurate. I love it because it's a huge mug. So I can put as much creamer in it as I want. So I think of her every time I drink out of this mug. But yeah, so far, not too bad. Um, Porter has about an hour left and then I gotta go get him from school. So other than that, Yep, just enjoying a peaceful moment because I know the rest of my day is not going to be quiet like this. Hi, Avery. Hi. No. Hey guys, so I never recorded anything after that last clip. It's actually two days later. Turns out when you have four kids at home and two of them are within like months of each other, you have zero time to vlog. <laughs> so I'm getting the camera out this morning. Ivy's actually on her way here. This will be day three of me watching Ivy. Um, it's just Avery and I right now, both boys are at school. It has definitely been a challenge, especially because like it always seems like when one baby's crying, I have to put the other baby down to hold that baby. And then that baby's sad because I put that baby down. <laughs> so that's been a little difficult. Also, Ivy is not the best at taking naps. I'll get her to sleep in my arms. I'll put her down. I have her in a pack and play. She'll sleep and then every time it's like a minute later she wakes up and she cries and then so yeah the first day it took me like an hour and a half to get her to sleep and then yesterday it took me two hours <laughs> to get her to sleep and then even then she only took like 20 minute nap so hopefully today is better but she's so sweet she coos all the time she smiles she's so fun and she's so tiny she's so easy so I usually just like hold her and walk around the house with her. She's so easy. Anyway, it's going well. Um, my sister's um, adjusting back to work well, I think. Um, so yeah, things are going good. I'll try and vlog a little bit more today of my day, but honestly, a lot of it is just me holding babies <laughs> and changing diapers and trying to get babies to sleep. Avery, I swear, is the same thing as Ivy because it might be a nine month sleep regression because Avery just turned nine months not too long ago. She only slept two hours yesterday for her naps and that was it. She took a one hour nap in the morning and a one hour nap in the evening or in like the afternoon and that was it. So that was rough. <laughs> and then last night, like I put her to bed, but then she got up at 3 a.m. and then 7 a.m. So yeah, Avery hasn't been sleeping. I, I swear Ivy slept more than Avery yesterday. <laughs> so, just been a little chaotic here. Are you mad because I'm not vlogging you? So we have an updated helmet appointment today for Avery. They're going to shave more of her helmet, do more adjustment. Maybe we'll be done with the helmet. I doubt it. They quoted us four to six weeks. Today marks four weeks of being in the helmet. So I guess we'll see if she's done. I doubt it though. <laughs> That'd be like too easy, I feel like. And then surprising turn of events, our pediatrician actually called like the genetics office and um, got us into an earlier appointment. If you saw my previous vlog, I don't remember when I talked about it, but when I first called to make an appointment for Avery to see a geneticist, because her pediatrician thinks that there's something 
more that's wrong with her. The earliest appointment they had was end of June, which is like over six months away. And then I guess like our pediatrician's office, like the nurses have an in with someone at the genetics office. And so they called and advocated for us. And now we have an appointment next week. It's actually one week from today. So we'll get answers a lot sooner. And I'm just really curious to see what they're going to say about Avery. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. What do you think? Yeah, hopefully it's nothing. You can do it. Come on, bees. Come here, bees. Uh-huh. Come here. You can do it. Let's crawl. You were so close! She was doing it and then I missed it. Come on! Come on! Come here, Avery! You can do it! Yeah, you can do it! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, yeah, you're so close! You can do it! Avery, you can do it! Let's crawl! You can do it! There you go! Oh, oh, oh. There you go! <laughs> Come on, Avery! Good job! Good job, Avery! Come on! You can do it! Come on, Avery! You can do it! Let's crawl! Let's crawl, beans! Come on! There you go. Good job. <laughs> Good job.